today we are going to continue our study of chapter 2 with lesson 3, Beginnings of Agriculture. So the big idea of this lesson is the development of agriculture brought great changes to human society. Main ideas, the first farmers learned to grow plants and raise animals in the Stone Age, and farming changed societies and the way people lived. And you'll have a brain pop to watch on the agricultural revolution. So after the Middle Stone Age, the Mesolithic era, came a period of time that scientists call the Neolithic era, which is the new Stone Age. So we had the Paleolithic era, prehistory. The Mesolithic area, middle. And now the Neolithic area, new. So P and P, M and M, N and N. So people learned how to make plants more useful through a process called domestication. And this is also with animals as well. Um, farmers began to use animals for their own benefit. So like oxen to help plow the field, to pull the plow. This would be an example of an early farming society. And you can tell that we've come a long way since prehistory. They've got a nice little town, a nice little community going on there. Um, this would have been a village in what is now modern day Turkey. And they say um, that it's one of the earliest farming villages that has been discovered. Um, but again, you can see it's pretty well planned out. One thing that students normally notice is they don't have a door. There's no door. They have windows. But they use ladders to get up to the roof or to get into the window of the house. And that also serves as protection against invaders. So this new Stone Age, the Neolithic area, area error, began as early as 10,000 years ago and they say this began in Southwest Asia. People learned how to polish stones, to make fire, and produce food. So no longer were they hunter-gatherers. So no longer deer go there, I go there. They, they're staying put. And they say that this era ended 5,000 years ago in Egypt and Southwest Asia when tool makers began using metal to make their tools rather than stone or flint. So this dom domestication process, this is the process of changing plants or animals to make them more useful to us, to humans. People learned that they could plant seeds and grow their own crops. So again, no more of this deer go there, I go there. I can grow my own food. People learned to plant the biggest and the sweetest crops for better yields. A yield would be how much is harvested, how much you get out of that harvest. And the domestication of plants led to the development of agriculture, better known as farming. So this is an example or a map that gives you a depiction of early domestication and what you would have had kind of around the world. So in Africa, you would have had wheat and barley. Those were your main things. In China, of course, you have rice. Still do today. So... Out of Africa also came um, goats and sheep and cattle, and then horses out of Europe. We had potatoes in South America, and then we had maize, which is another name for corn, in Southern North America. So as I mentioned before, hunters no longer needed to follow the wild animals once they learn how to keep and use the animals and to grow their own food. So they use sheep and goats for milk, food, and wool. Larger animals, again, were used to help with the farming. And learning to use animals to help with farming increased people's chances of surviving. And then you have two brain pops that you can go back and watch. So this more certain survival, 
Farming changed societies and the way people lived. People can now focus on activities other than simply surviving, which is what hunter-gatherers did. They hunt and gathered their food. I mean, that's just, they were surviving day to day. They didn't know where the next meal was coming from. So this domestication, and which led to permanent settlements, it led to um, the domestication of plants and animals, to the, led to the use of fibers to make clothes. So now they didn't just have to use animal skins. Domestication led to the need to stay in one place. So people no longer were nomadic. They no longer moved around. There go there, I go there. No, they could stay put. So farming communities that developed then grew into towns. And there's another video that you're going to go back and watch about the Neolithic era. And this kind of concludes this whole chapter. And you can see how far we've come in history, according to the theory that we discussed. And this is the end of chapter two.